Howdy, I'm Matthew. In this video, I'd like to share with you a tip that when I show it to people, a lot of times they say, oh, why didn't I think of that? I've heard that reaction enough, I thought, well, I better make a video on this because clearly this is something a lot of people just don't know about, don't think about. It's really aggravating to try to make a good, nice circle with just freehanding with the plasma cutter. Especially if you're doing something small like a bolt hole, you often end up with a shape that is not circular when you're done. Especially if you have the poor hand-eye coordination skills like I do. The easiest way to solve this is to make yourself a guide. And then make these circles with a machine that's good for making circles, such as your drill press, your mill, or even your lathe. Then it's real easy, just simply clamp this on there. And now you have a nice guide for making circles. And you don't have to worry about slipping and running the torch clear across your project that you want a nice circle in and ruining things completely. But make sure your guides are plenty long for a clamp because you don't want to just set this guide on the metal and then try to guide the torch with the other hand. You'll end up moving that guide all over the place and end up with a terrible hole. So make sure you got plenty of meat on each side to put a clamp on it. That way it stays there all by itself and doesn't move around. How thick you make this metal will affect where it sets on the taper of the nozzle and that will affect how it rides and how it cuts. If you go too thin, the nozzle just kind of want to jump out of there. And if you go too thick, you won't be able to ride in the correct location. You'll end up with a hole that is not even close to the size that's in your guide. I find that 3 16 really is a good thickness to be using. You'll just have to play around with how much bigger your hole in your guide needs to be versus what size of hole you'll end up with based on your plasma torch. Now you're going to want to make these circles as round as possible and in metal that is probably somewhere around 3 16 of an inch thick. Most of the time you can just use your regular twist drill bit in your drill press. I really prefer to use an annular cutter in my milling machine. That's what I have available to me. You can even put it in your lathe and use a boring bar in your lathe to get the exact size you want. You need to do that. If you're needing to get a really precise hole and you don't have the exact size drill bit, an adjustable boring bar is a good way to make a hole that's exactly what you need. In other words, there's lots of ways to make holes for your guide. Just uh, do whatever is available to you. Another guide that I find very useful is a saddle or fish mouth guide. This one I made in the bandsaw. Nice smooth edges that way. This fits over the post in the corral. And I can just take the plasma cutter, go around it. Don't have to spend some time drawing that out or any of that stuff. Just slap it on, cut it out once again, and go. Huge time saver as well. When you start your cut, pierce at the center of the hole. Don't pierce at the edge of the guide. So pierce to the center, work your way out to the edge. I actually recommend going out to the edge, cutting halfway around towards you, starting at the edge again. You're not piercing this time, so you can start riding against the guide, and then finish the other half coming towards you again. The reason I recommend this method is you're pulling the torch towards you. You should always pull the plasma torch towards you, never push it away. And that's because of the cables on this thing. When you pull, the cable will kind of just fall towards you and gravity is assisting you. When you push, you're actually trying to straighten out this cable. You're trying to move that weight. Your cuts just look a whole lot worse. So always pull towards you whenever you can. Let's analyze my cuts here for a second. This is the back side, looking at the dross. So that's the front side. The smaller the hole you make, 
the worse it's going to look. I can guarantee you. That's just the nature of plasma cutting. Small holes look bad. Uh, as you can tell, the bigger the hole is, the better it looks. Now, if you flip it over and look at the dross, you can tell about your travel speed. If you got heavy dross like this, you're going too slow. Plain and simple. Notice there's almost no dross around the rest of it. That's because my travel speed was really, really good. Uh, right in here, perfect travel speed. And that is where we ended up with a really nice finished cut in there too. I mean, that looks really good. Nice and shiny. So travel speed is essential. Uh, in this video, I use the Yes Welder Cut 55 DS Plasma Cutter. This is a very capable machine, capable of clean cutting half inch metal and severance cutting three quarter inch thick metal. If you would like to purchase one of these machines, check out the description below. I have an affiliate link down there. And if you use the code WIDEVISION, you'll get 10% off at your purchase. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope you found some of these tips and tricks helpful. And may you be cutting round holes from here on.